Oh. Now we have MMA fighter versus MMA fighter. However, both of these guys do have you know, decent grappling pedigrees, let's call it that, because some MMA fighters, Braulio, you know, they come from maybe a kickboxing or striking background, and, you know, they prefer the kind of the, the trading strikes. Whereas many MMA fighters started with grappling or prefer grappling, and uh, I think that we've got two of those in the cage this evening. Yeah, I would be surprised if there will be any kind of guard pull here. You can see here there will be more wrestling stance, very low, controlled. Mateus Arpus is we in go. the blue. Nice. Arm, arm drag to the double. leg into a double. That beautiful. was a beautifully timed technique. And beautiful. straight on the neck here. Yeah, there's a danger here of the a guillotine. A bravo choke. Spin it all. It's a good attack here by Opa. Who's a, what a counter there that was from good. Arpus. I thought he, he spin was... for the armbar. Then yeah. And now he's going up high for the Oma Plata. Oma Plata. It's a good control. The hand has to be controlled there, see? You know that Matush... He's had four, excuse me, five MMA fights total, and four of those uh, are wins. And we managed to escape Three the of hand. them, he's won by first round submission. Wow. So, so this is the kind on. of guy that he comes out wow, quick and good he finishes mount. matches, and he's coming out strong very early in this match here at ADXC. Very good dominance control. Even though Ahmed managed to escape well from the Oma Plata here, but, um, you know, Matos is going full on, controlled and going from attacks to attacks. He has a very, would you say, Braulio, he has a very fluid game so far, because a lot of MMA guys, you know, they're often a little more conservative when it comes to grappling. They don't want to risk too much. They like to stay tight because they're used to competing with strikes. But, I mean, we see Matush here, he's, he's going after attacks, he's chaining together sequences. He was even thinking about a twister there for a second. Correct, yeah. His transition is being very well checked. So uh, Ahmed cannot develop the escape because the thing is, the jiu-jitsu is not about what you want to do against the person, but also stop the development of our opponent while you're doing so. So that's very good control here. See, he's not letting wow. Ahmed to develop at all. Well, that's a nice recovery there, though, from Ahmed Amir. I mean, the Egyptian is on his back up against the fence, but hey, for the this first is time, better than where he was before. Here we go. He was he was in trouble. He was defending. Your motor attack. But he's bottom half guard here, and he's wrapping up that arm. This While he may not have a submission a attack from here, it, it means that, hey, Matush can't attack. Yeah, him, right? exactly. Stopping him from progressing and from developing. It's for the first time that he put Matush in a situation that he has to think and don't do anything he wants. No, we were talking about, about these guys and about how Arpus has three first round submissions well I'll tell you now that <laughs> nice take down here by Matos I'll tell you now that Ahmed Amir he has three first round submissions of his own he has a total of seven submission wins in his MMA career so we do have two grappling specialists but you have to say that so far first round has been all Arpas yes like Matos is I'm very impressed the way that he, the fluidity in the control of the transitions because doing a technique Okay, it's, it's, it's hard, yes, but doing the technique and controlling through the transitions, this is the, is, you've got to be a master on what you do. You really do, you really do. Let's take a look at this. I want to see this takedown again. Look at that. The timing. Beautiful. Wow. Timing. He got double legs on both legs controlled by holding both hands. And he was straight on the neck. See that he, he didn't just go anywhere. He, he, he was waiting for the right time. Look at that beautiful sub uh, submission at at attempt there for the armbar, well defended by Ahmed. And then again, already going to the head. And then there was a, a kind of a weird scramble where you thought that maybe the Tarpus would uh, would snag an arm, but we don't see it, unfortunately. There were so many moments that I loved the, the look at the twister at one point as well. There was a lot of action in that first round, but it was definitely very one-sided. However, they've both had a bit of a warm-up now. Let's see if Ahmed Amir comes with a, a different strategy at all in this second round. It was Matusz Arpas of Slovakia in the blue who scored the, the takedown and that led to the sort of onslaught of grappling exchanges. Will we see Ahmed here? Oh, oh yeah. wow, that's good, snap down. 
trying to drag. And Machu again, Chavez. the same attack here, going grab the clinch. Gonna use the cage now against him. Here we go. See, that's you can tell the experience with the MMA. Uh, scenario being there many times, both of them, to be honest. Yeah, uh, you could tell you're absolutely right. That MMA instinct kicked in because Matush he couldn't finish the takedown in the center. So, what do you do? You run your opponent up against the fence and then you start working for there. But nice reversal from Ahmed Amir. Very good. They both know how to use the cage for their benefit. Wow, oh, that's a nice very good. work from Amir. Wow, and not only has he taken down Matush Arpas, but he is around the hips. But there's a danger yeah. for getting the team there. He's not out of danger here. He needs to jump the foot, uh, the, the body to the other side. If he stays there, it's dangerous. If, 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 oh, look at that. If the Matus, chin strap grip has saved him. Yeah. That's a decent guillotine. It is on, you know. Right it is on. It is on. Oh, we could see a finish here if that it, gets tighter. It is on. Hard to see the grip from this angle. He's pro uh, Shaolin's uh, right on top of it. He's got the look at the hands. It's all about the hands under the chin here. It's, what is the grip is like? Oh, the hand is, is coming on. in. He's going to tap. It is on. He almost tapped there for a second. You can see the... Oh, uh, look at this. How is he not tapping, wow. Braulio? His tongue is stuck there as well. Oh, he's got a hand in. Ahmed wow, Amir manages wow. to strip the grip. So close. From the hand under his chin. So and manages close. to survive the guillotine choke. I thought he was going to tap at least two or three times right there. Pretty much so. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Wow, I mean, that's that, that was resilience. Fantastic. Really is, and that that is something that you can't teach, Braulio. That's something that you build. It's a, it's something that you forge in, you know, over 12, 15 MMA fights like Ahmed Amir has. You know, that, that's that's the kind of toughness that you only develop through a career of fighting MMA around the world. Exactly, one of the main lessons that you learn in Jiu Jitsu right, is to feel comfortable on uncomfortable situations, and that's a proof just out there and like nothing's like touching him like mentally he's still there in the game and uh, wow look at those lightning that was double sick leg. that was really quick and not only was it a nicely scooped up double leg but very effortlessly is moving around to this kind of top position but now a little guillotine grip of his own but not a, not an optimal finishing position no because as I said at the beginning you need to be need to put the opponent's head on the same side of his body for the submission, you know, which wasn't that case. So, well, you can see here, Matos are already breathing a little bit more because you put a lot of energy when you go for yeah. the guillotine, yeah. you know, when you want to submit and then... And, um, he was Ahmed, squeezing that hard as well. Very much. Look at that, the replay. Talk us through here. Oh, this lovely takedown off the fence from Ahmed Amir, but he landed. I thought he was going to go to the back. But it's the way that uh, Arpas was able to reach around and get that chin strap. Man, it, it went downhill quick. And that's what I there. said about when he landed. He landed with the body in the same side of the head. That's when the guillotine is in danger. See, that? that's when he raises his right knee is on purpose. So he goes to the head and then he ends up in another position. Look at that. It was on. It was on. He almost thought about tapping here. Maybe. He thought about it. He, he thought, thought about, about it. it. And then, and that's why Matos got tired, tired for squeezing that much. Look at that. The tongue is coming out. Wow. It was a full-on squeeze. You know? that's, that's probably the closest submission that, you know, that hasn't been affected that I've seen all night. Of course, Emily Ferreira was able to score a submission win uh, in her match. But, you know, of all the other submission attacks, that one was really close to getting the finish. And Ahmed here, like... Breathing through the nose like nothing happened. Another or oh, well defended and timed. They are taken down attempt by Matos, but already back in the game and controlling to the. Oh, we go. On the hook. I'm gonna try to use the cage against his on his favor here. You know, Matos well aware of the possibility of the takedown that well. Ahmed is really good in that position. Yeah, and I feel like Ahmed Amir, you know, he, he scored a great takedown in that second round. You know, he did get taken down himself, but maybe he thinks, yeah, hey, I need to be aggressive here. I need to be the one kind of getting to the good positions because it seems that Matu Sharpas, he has some sneaky, sneaky traps. Yeah, right? Opa, what a good takedown here by Ahmed. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. This is better. This well, is good work. For the first time, he's on top of position. You can see, look, like, here, Matt is already using the cage to turn himself to the side, and now is a possibility of a, 
Plata. Noah Plata. Plata. Go, go, got, Plata. He's got the leg up high, rubber guard style. He's got the foot in the hip. He, man. Is it going to be a go, go, Plata then? I'm very impressed with how quickly Matu Sharpas was able to recover his guard from the takedown. Opa. The submission's in. Yeah, he's, he switched to the Oma Plata here. He's looking for possibly an armbar, but nice defense there. Hopping over the top of the head was Ahmed Amir. Now he's out of danger of the Oma Plata. Very good exchange over here. Matos has a good position now. Oh, that was great work from Blue. Yeah, Arpas getting on top now, and he's now looking to improve to his back. position. Taking it back now. Very right up against the fence, right in front of us here at our table, what the commentary exchange. table. Very impressed by the way that Arpas was able to kind of, number one, sort of chain together his uh, escape. Oh, but talking wow. about escapes, wow. counter attack there. He had Rolling to turn. Kimura. He had to turn. He had to turn so the leverage doesn't get enough for the, sub for the submission. I mean, what a beautiful exchange of, of movements here. So much action, and I love the. the the variety of attacks that we're seeing, Bradley. We're they seeing, play chess. We're, yeah, we're seeing attacks to the neck, and we're seeing guard passes, we're seeing takedowns, we're seeing arm attacks, and some of them from quite unorthodox Look positions. Look at that beauty. That's a Katami wow. style. And good attempt for the Katagumura. Katagumura, thank you. Katagumura, <laughs> thank you for the correction. My Japanese failed me there. <laughs> He saved you with the strong one. <laughs> I don't even know. I forgot already the name. But we help each other. Ahmed here. It's like going for the. Now he he, he woke up. He did. He did. But it's a little too late because now we're in the final ten seconds of this third round. He's finding his rhythm. He's back on it. But okay, we're going to go to a decision, and I am going to say it, Brown. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to say it this time. <laughs> I'm going to say I think that's pretty clear that. Arpus was the winner in that match because, man... But I'm going to think it's differently. I mean, the reaction from the crowd is rather muted. They know that he didn't really claim that one. <laughs> but, my Matus really impressed me. Just so many attacks. Incredible. Very beautiful. And then Ahmed showing the, the surgery, broken ribs, and still was there fighting until the end. Actually, he ended up in a much better pace than Matos himself. <laughs> yeah, rather expressionless is, uh, is Matos Sharpas, uh, whereas, you know, very fired up is uh, Ahmed Amir. He really believed that he won the game, that fight, the match. Do you think so? I well, don't, I'm not sure I, what the showboating is about. I mean, he, he had to fight his way out of some deep submissions. I'm not sure that he really... He got too much out of that. Oh, wow, well, he's saying that, yeah. He, looks like he fought through injury in that one. Showing his ribs. But hey, he showed up and he had a great match, whether he was injured or not. Wish we get a translation. Yeah, I cannot hear what he's there. saying. Don't understand the Arabic, unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the schedule three rounds, our judges at cage side are all in agreement at 30-27. To the winner, by unanimous decision, Matos Arbach! Here we go. Was there any surprise there, Braulio? Uh, not for me, but I think it's very surprising for Mohamed. For Ahmed, sorry. I don't know what game Please he had in mind, but... Um, Yeah, I mean, look at the face of uh, of Matu Sharpas. I mean, he's just that's a, that's a face of somebody who has so much experience, somebody who's unfazed by any antics, and uh, I'm sure he's very happy with that win, and sure he's very happy to receive the the trophy here at ADXC. And that really was, for my money, that was one of the best technical performances we've seen all night. But that's by far, you know, the exchange, as I said, wasn't just a single movements was that a lot of exchanges back and forth feedback and adjustments we control through the process what amazing performance here by matters 